Right, after a very long, windy pathway, I've come to Fine Court area and Broomfield. I'm on the way to Kingston St Mary. But I've come along some very narrow lanes that I wouldn't normally take Holberta down. But fortunately, we only passed one car after a network of very, very narrow lanes, and there's more to come yet. But I thought, well, I just well do this church. It wasn't on my list. It wasn't on my list, but I'm going to do it now. I managed to park Alberta right close to it. So I thought I'd do it. I'm doing a video first. I might recognise some names yet. Looks pretty old. Um, red sandstone with a bit of rendering on it at some point. Could have been white in the past because it's got like a bit of white rendering to it. Alberta's parked over there, some old graves there. Um, there's a lot of history to this area, Fine Court. It's a, a place where you can come and wander and spend the whole day. You know, um, so... There's Alberta, faithfully having a rest for a minute. Now, I'll just go outside and um, there's a war memorial there. That's probably the vicarage there, I should imagine, in that place. Um, oh, yeah, King St. St. Mary's. Oh, they've had their, they've had their, um, so that can't be far away, can it? This is St. Mary and All Saints Broomfield. So St. Kingston, St. Mary can't be very far away. Nice little rosette thing there. Alright, what I'm doing, I'll just carry on with the video going round a minute. There's no saying that this church will be open. But it can be added to my Somerset Churches project. Don't know if it's got a Sheila and a gig. Somebody repairing the wall, I think. <laughs> My feet are going to get wet. It's amazing, the grass is so wet. I can do some photos in a minute. <clears throat> Just do the video first. Sheila Gill. I 
Right, so this one wasn't on the route, but um, it seems significant. I don't even know if it would be open. It's funny how people know, as soon as you get here, the whole village know you're here. <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? Tomb of somebody maybe of importance there. Yeah, the weather for the next few days is supposed to be horrendous. I think it's on the change now, so if I just get this one done, it'd be better than nothing. It's a long way to come, though. A long way to come. That looks really old. That's the vicarage next door, I think. Looks really old, doesn't it? The roofing. Always gives it away. Old cross. In memory of Anne and Fred Pugsley. Right, we've got no idea if it's open. Might be, might, might not be. <sighs> oh, pink sunset, Mary. Mm. I said, I'm doing the video first. We'll see if it's open, shall we? Oh yeah, it's open. Oh, I'll do the video first in case anybody comes in. Now I can just do photos, you see. Some interesting pews, nicely carved. So this is um, St Mary and All Saints Church at Broomfield near Fine Court. Nicely decorated old pews, all differently designed. I don't know if that looks that old, but could have been tidied up. Kneeling cushions have all been decorated nicely. And a little tiny bell tower up there. The bells in the tower were rehung in the year 1900. And 90. I wonder how long they've been out. I can't read that because I haven't brought my glasses. There we got the Ten Commandments. Um, I expect there's people buried under the floor here. <sighs> Very basic. You can smell the oldness in these really old churches, you know. I've got a little leaflet, but I haven't got my glasses. So I've got, I can't read in the 11th century. But the oldest surviving part of the present church is in the south chancel wall with a small priest's doorway. Probably built 1330. At this time, the church belonged to Buckland Priory. 
Right, okay, well, I'll, what I'll do when I do the, um, I do a little postscript, when I do the video, um, a little summary. I haven't done a church for a while, I don't think. It's always good to do the video first. Just in case anybody comes in. Some nice little carved wooden figures on the ceiling there. Little angels, look. I always remember the one in um, Barry St. Edmund's church where my great grandmother married Marianne Oak Brooks to um, Joseph Edward Stibe, Louis Joseph Edward Stibe. They had huge angels carved there. Henry VIII's sister was buried in that particular church near the Abbey. Right, I'm just going to save this one because sometimes the, the camera plays up, so I'm just going to save a minute.